You know, I used to tell myself and tell you, hey, I'm a brand new crypto investor. And I still am. I think I've been in it for eight months and I still consider myself brand new. However, I feel like I am getting wiser and getting more, you know, more knowledge about how to trade. And I'm going to let you know on how I'm changing my game up, how I'm changing my trading strategy up for the last quarter here, you know, October, November, December, um, because things are a little... They don't, they're not sitting right with me for some reason. Everyone right now is saying October, right? It's here. We're all going to be rich. And it's just, it doesn't sit well with this cowboy. Like why? I'm like looking around. Everyone's getting a little crazy. YouTube's looking a little like uh, a little crazy, like cultish, you know what I mean? And I just want to come in be like, okay, th there is some reason to pause here. And I've got two reasons why I've, you know, I'm developing onto like two simple rules for me to like, hey, let me just catch a level head here before I catch all this like fever hype, you know, <laughs> and then I start spending money on meme coins like all over again. This is like May of, of earlier in this year. And so I, I, this is how I've changed up my trading strategy and changed up my mind, my mindset into going into crypto. If you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm a journey to two Bitcoin while helping as many people to their first. I'm just a brand new crypto investor, eight months, and, and, and I'm still learning, right? But I'm not your financial advisor. This is never financial advice. I'm just a lizard brain, gorilla armed, diamond handed cowboy exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency with a whole bunch of, bunch of other cowboys. If you want to join me, hit the subscribe button, head into the saloon. We're always chatting up and stuff like that. But I want to let you know here that the first rule for me is follow the whales, okay? This is a very lizard brain simple rule, okay? I need to show you that the Bitcoin inflow for last week was 68 million US dollars, okay? 68. Binance saw a negative, Car Polkadot saw a negative, Cardano saw 1 million chump change. Ethereum is pretty good. Okay, so no problem. Solana at 0.7, this, this doesn't make sense. Okay, so the reason why you want to follow the whales is because they, they probably know something that you don't know. It's actually funny because um, I don't know if you know who Nancy Pelosi is. She is like a Speaker of the House or some like, you know, official person in the uh, United States. But a lot of traders have suspected her having insider knowledge. And so they have set alerts to her what she buys and when she buys it and they call her nancy the whale and so when she buys a certain thing and this is probably legal i'm i'm not trying to get demonetized or i'm not trying to see the government you know up in my phone but they have set alerts to nancy the whale whenever she buys they buy and i think this is the same sentiment right like whenever i see people buying bitcoin like it makes me cause okay i want to buy bitcoin and I hear a lot of people say talk about how like, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm, I don't want to play in Bitcoin. I want to play in these altcoins for massive gains. I think that's right, and I'm a little bit of both. But if it's things things are not sitting right when people are all going crazy about like we're all going to make a lot of money, it, it doesn't seem right. You know, like it it's too good to be true almost. So like if if you're in here, this is like rule number one for me, follow the whales. If they go there, I'm trying to go there as well. And of course, Bitcoin has always been my number one goal. Um, so like having a, a second um, level of Bitcoin, I mean, granted, it's been a little hard. <laughs> it's been a little hard. I haven't been trying to time these trades as, better, as best as I was when I was a little bit more reckless and a little bit more crazier. Um, now I've got a Bitcoin to try to protect. And so now I'm kind of seeing myself being a little more reserved, being a little more cautious. But uh, ultimately, I'm still trading. I'm still in the game here, especially I want in, in October, November, December. I definitely want to be in the game. I want to start definitely um, trying to average dollar cost average my way out into Bitcoin. And that leaves me for the second rule. The second rule is more um, specific and it's trade like a machine. OK, trade like machine. If this, if you know, if the first and second rules make sense to you, just give me a like button on this video. If you're feeling like, you know, a little generous, but I need to trade like machine before I was always trading on this like fervor, right? Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to like really FOMO. I'm going to fear of missing out. And so if we look at Bitcoin here, this last day, it has like gone, gone crazy, right? It pushes through 51K per Bitcoin. And so what, what I tend to think, I'm like, oh my gosh, 
I'm gonna miss up on this run up right here. I'm gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss it. And so I tend to then buy at the top here, watch it go back down and then trade like this for sideways and then eventually it's gonna go down like this. I just know it. And the reason why I know it is because it does it all over the place. It does, it, it's done it right here, look. So, you know, like if, if it goes here, it's gonna keep on going and maybe it'll, it'll head up here. I, I have no idea. Oh wait, this is a one year, hold on. Let me go to the, let me go to the week or the month, okay? So you know what I'm saying like this is to zoom out. This is a bigger spot. So if if you bought if you bought Bitcoin here, you takes a dive. You're gonna have to see some sideways trading. I mean, like savvy investors can you know do this. I'm sure, but you'd have to wait. I mean, I don't know, like two weeks of I don't know how much how much time that is in crypto, and then you're gonna have to wait for that run up again, and you don't even know. So here's why I say trade like a machine. Um, and and with Bitcoin at you know in the middle right here on this rainbow chart we have no idea i mean i i don't i try to time it I, I i don't know right i don't know but here's what i do know you check the greed fear fear index and we are at a 68 uh, percent greed that means people are are like oh yeah we're gonna make a lot of money I gotta take pause there, you know what I'm saying? So Warren Buffett said, hey, be fearful when people are greedy and be greedy when people people are fearful. What does that mean? That means when people are greedy, it now's the time to sell. And it's hard to sell. It's hard to sell when your bags are pumped. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 hard to do that. But here's what I know. When uh, I, I've held on to Shiba for so long and it's this run up. What? Why is Shiba running up like this? There's nothing, there's nothing that I mean, I did a little research. There's, there's no reason why it, this should be running up like this, other than there's a lot of fear or greed into the market. You know, people are like, "Oh, I'm gonna buy Shiba again," and do 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 do. So, what am I? What is, what is Aaron gonna do? Right now, it's very hard to sell my Shib because I've been holding on for so long. I've got like a little emotional attachment to this little dog, like thinking it's like my real dog. It's not. It's not. And so, when you when you zoom out. It's near the top to like where, like right here. It's not really, but it, it's it's the closest it's ever been <laughs> since the drop. I, I think I'm gonna sell. That's just my personal opinion. I think I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell within the next couple of hours, if not day. Um, but it's very difficult to sell at the top. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys um, bought that BNB call and we were here and I was I was trying to take I was trying to say, hey guys, take this profit. Take this profit, it ran up, take this profit. And this right here is when we need to sell. When the chart looks like this, when that arrow and that line goes up like that, that is when we need to sell. Us cowboys need to lock in those profits. And I'm, and on the meme coins, I'm even more, more staunch on this rule trade like a machine because you gotta take your emotions out of it. At least I do, I gotta tell myself, Aaron, you have no, you're an emotionless, soulless robot right now trading okay comp you bot okay and so this right here is like automatic rule to take profit and so yeah i, I took profit there and i took like nearly 50 percent on bnb pay and what what a run that was but now see what's happening here is going down going down uh same with sonar right sonar had a little run up and i took profit i mean like right probably right around here um right before the drop and uh, I was very proud of that one. Um, not saying like, I, I mean, I could show anyone the transactions or whatever, I, I, whatever. Um, market move was a really good one too. I'm mean, like, as soon as like this thing rolls up and I'm like, I'm gonna be a millionaire. When I hear myself say that, I'm gonna take profit. <laughs> like that's just what it is. Um, token place, I, I missed it um, because this, this happened a little too fast for me. I didn't catch these. Um, so I didn't realize they were, I'm not in the ter their telegram a lot, so I didn't realize that it spiked so fast and now it's just this like downward flaggy thing, I don't know. Um, hopefully it could spike up again, but it's only been on CoinMarketCap for, for what, a day or so and I totally missed it. I totally missed anything about Token Place and I really liked it. Now, here's where I'm at now. With these particular coins, I wanna try to bet on the team. I wanna try to bet on the team. Right, especially in the altcoins, I, I do want to get into Bitcoin. I do want to be more into that, but I'm I'm selling my position into ADA out, out of ADA. I'm not sure if it's the right move, but it, it's to get into E Gold and it's to get into um, some of these other altcoins. I want to get into uh, uh, I want to get into E Gold. I want to get into Phantom. I want to get into maybe not Phantom, but E Gold for sure. I don't hear anyone talking about that. I think they're going to have their day. 
I'm not sure when they're gonna, you know, when it's gonna pop off, but I really, really like, I really, really like eGold. But here's why, okay? eGold's a different story, but for these altcoins, these microcap coins, it to me, the question is, can you bet on the team? With the Shiba Inu team, I don't know them, so I'm not betting on the team. So that's that's why I'm selling right here, right now. I'm actually I'm deciding right now on this on this uh, on this video. Um, but then on BNB Pay, can you can you bet on the team? And I actually like the team. You know, I like James. I like the team. I like uh, I like where they're going, where their heads at. So right here equates to a good buying opportunity, right? This is when we buy, right? This kind of chart is when we buy, okay? This kind of chart right here is when we sell. Do you see the difference? Like, I need to remind myself all the time that this is the difference, okay? Sonar, same thing, okay? Sonar is a little bit in the middle, so if you hold right now, no one's, you know, I, I don't really, I don't really flaunt, uh, give you any flack. But if it goes down, bro, you, you know, you, if you believe in the team, that's when you buy. If you don't believe in the team, then move on to the different project. Now, same for market moves, same, uh, same for token place. Um, so. Uh, th that's these are my sentiments. This is just what I'm thinking. This this video has gone long enough, but uh, let me know your comments in the section the, in the in the comment section below. Like this is a very interesting time uh, where there's a lot of greed into the market, and when there's greed, this is when we sell. Do you have the wherewithal, the the guts to sell it now, or are you going to be caught up in the the greed? Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, guys. Don't overthink things. Lizard brain, gorilla arms, diamond hands. We're going to the moon together. If you want to join me and a bunch of cowboys, hit the subscribe button or join the, uh, the Instagram. Or not the Instagram. I don't have an Instagram for you guys. Or personal Instagram. Uh, join the website. And then, um, yeah, we'll see you in the saloon. Thanks.